assalamu alaikum everyone i am back with another video and today uh, i'll be showing you one of the most interesting stuff so uh, the thing is i'll be uh, creating one widget where uh, there will be a uh, button on clicking of which uh, the whole uh, data will get downloaded in the excel sheet and we can view those data and we can keep those data uh, as uh, already it has in the like this but i'll be just creating it in the uh, in one uh, in one uh, button so how to do that i'll be showing you today and um, you can even download it according to the filter so you can just uh, give the filter here and according to that filter we can uh, download the uh, records number of records and the values which is present in that particular uh, filter so let's get started so the first thing that i would like to show you is there is something known as link button which is out of the box uh, which is present in our uh, system so we will first uh, copy this uh, widget because uh, uh, from this widget only we will be uh, modifying my uh, download uh, widget thing so i'll just clone this and i'll rename it as uh, uh, export in csv okay i will just save it now i will open it in the editor so my main concept is how to like how is this happening okay over here the functionality which service now it has given us i will create a custom widget of mine own uh, and i'll show you how to do that so the first thing the main concept uh, of mine will be if you will see there there are two option schema which is present one is for link for button and the another is for contents of button okay uh, so button text is the name and the hra href is the name of the link for button so i will not provide any link for button so that uh, and i will i will be needing a pop up page uh, if you will click that particular button so i'll be needing a pop up page and uh, i'll be needing the table uh, where you are putting where i'll put this for example if i'll put the widget here so i'll need to refer this table i need to refer this particular filter and i need the data so it's quite simple uh, and uh, with these three with the help of these three things i will just uh, create an href and i'll push it in the uh, and i'll pass it in the link for button so i'll just uh, show you how we can do that the first thing is uh, uh, over here if you see that option dot color is there okay so i'll be adding here one more thing is ng click because if you will click this button i need you to open the pop up c dot open pop up okay okay first thing i have completed the next thing i'll go to the client sir client side over here nothing is written first i will mention the window and the scope okay now uh firstly c dot data dot href href is the link for button i will give the value here test okay because uh, i need a op i need a blank page for example the way it got downloaded if you see if i just do export as excel see this blank page is coming so i need that so for that i am giving it as test because href is uh, here href is the name of this particular link for button uh, name okay so now next thing i will do is c dot data dot action i will create one uh, particular uh, variable and it will be empty now after this i will give the function name 
pop up is equals to function okay what will happen inside this function is first i will the create one variable method and i will assign this value as confirm confirm okay means this is confirmed like you have already clicked this button and you want to download the uh, data which is present in the sheet which is present in the table so confirm message i will uh, do now i will give the c dot server dot dot update dot then function then function and uh, after this i will open the window dot open and i will give dot c dot data dot href which is the name for the link for button which i will give as empty or test which because i have given as test so nothing will open if you will give blank here as well nothing will work but uh, sometimes it happens that in uh, most of the people uh, give the value in link for button so uh, to remove that value i will give test because i need a blank page uh, and i will give as pop up the name and i will give as width equals to 900 comma height equals to 600 the length and height of the page okay because if you see it is opening a new page uh, in uh, over here the new page is getting open which is out of the box but i will i am giving one the height and width of the page now this is done okay so this is done but server side now the main thing is starting first over here the, uh, the this is given data dot button message is given now uh, my main part starts from here that if input dot method which i have already uh, given here see because once it gets clicked option dot pop up open pop up is getting clicked my data dot method is equals to confirm so if only it is getting clicked and it the value becomes this confirm then only i will come inside and i will this tab is the table table means i will take the get parameter the table the name of the table which is which where you will put this uh, particular widget i will get the table name automatically we all know sp.get parameter gets it automatically takes the table name now i will take the filter if the filter is present uh, i will get the filter as well okay now i need to take the instance name also which is very important and it is already present in the property uh, uh, instance name it is out of the box property uh, uh, so if filter is present okay if filter is present okay if filter is present then uh, we will go inside and we will take the href data dot href is equals to now if you will notice that if you want to for example uh, i will go in incident table incident dot list or not going into incident as well if you see if i will do export as excel see the oh sorry the link which is there so we will just add that link so first is black backslash plus the name of the table okay i will give the name of the table plus underscore list which is all obviously there because the whole list i want dot do okay question mark i need it in, in the xls format because here it is providing it in the xls okay i'll give it dot xls you can give anything whatever you want and i will give the syspam query syspam query 
इक्वल्स टू प्लस फिल्टर ओके I hope you guys are getting. Oh, if filter is present, then I will uh, uh, get all the records with this particular filter. Else, I will only take this part. Dot XLS with this and this. I hope you guys. Uh, got everything so this is a very customized uh, widget you can use anywhere in any uh, of the uh, page so uh, i will add here widget page in designer i will open i will just change the name because this name is not uh, export in xls i will give in xls this is better I'll just refresh it once again. Now, if I search with XLS directly. So export in XLS came. I will just put it in the middle. Okay. So click here is coming because out of the box it is given. Click here. Uh, over here, if you see it is given. Click click here. Here, see. In the server script over here, click here is given. If you can, you want, you can give any other thing. So uh, I will give the content of button as uh, export in XLS, and the color I will give as danger. Okay, I will just save it. So let's just test whether it is working fine or not. So export in XLS. I'll just click this one. Just a minute, I think so. It is not working somewhere. Oh my God! Over here the option. I don't know how it happened, but I need to write again. Ng click equals to c dot open pop up. Just save it. refresh and i will download see the size of this it's 900 uh, versus 600 now if i open this show in folder because excelis format is not supported in my system so i'll open it with the excel see everything got downloaded all the columns which is present in the uh, here which is present everything is there now if i just give any number okay i'll just add the filter Number is this one. I'll just copy. Shit. Okay, let's do back.
number is this run okay if i download from here let's see what happens see actually this is not uh, there in my system so i'll open show in folder open with excel c1 is coming now i'll do it with this as well export in excel as show in folder open with surface excel c okay so uh, the main difference is uh, because of the column the number of columns which is present here and the number of columns you can give the view as well i haven't added the view this is one of the negative point which i haven't added so you can give the view and according to that uh, the number of columns will be visible so you can try it uh, on yourself uh, thank you guys for watching i hope you will like my video and if any other requirement you have you can just uh, uh, mention in the comment thank you guys thanks for watching